Hey, a pleasant good day, everyone. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Borek, and this is going to be a recap of the Reading Royals' great 6-4 to win, welcoming back their home crowd to Satan Dare Arena. They were able to get a great victory led by the great line of Matthew Strome, Patrick Bykoff, and Joshua Winquist. Bykoff was able to get the hat trick, Strome was able to score the deciding goal, and then Winquist was able to score the first goal of the game in yesterday's tilt. Um, in this game, the only bad thing really to speak of when it came to the Royals was Kirill Ustamenko, the great goaltender Usti, was not able to have the game he would want, and this is a game he would want to forget about, allowing a couple rebound goals there, and then the goal to Chase Lang that went over his glove, but that's what happens in the roads of a long season. I talked about that in my article I wrote on the game on FlyersNittyGritty.com that will be linked in the description below, as well as the website of Flyers Nitty Gritty. Check that out for great Flyers organization covers of all our wonderful writers and podcasters over there. But in this game, the reason Bykoff, Winquist, and Strom have great chemistry, that Bykoff was very happy, and I thank him for sharing with us in the um, post-game pressure, is because him and Strom were both on the Swamp Rabbits last year since Redding didn't play. That's where Stromer played last year, and they played very well together. And then you have Winquist, where Bykoff has chemistry from the juniors, excuse me. So they have very good chemistry together. It's meshed together really well, and that's led to great success for that line, even in the losing effort on Friday night, and then great success last night, obviously, in a winning effort. The only negative you take from this game is really that Ustamenko was not able to have his best game, and Redding wasn't as peachy keen early on defensively in the game as you would want. But Kirk McDonald talked about in the pressure, they were pushing the offense while that tires out the team in contra, which is very true. And that's why they were able to just keep pushing the ante and keep it going because the the Norfolk Admirals were really, honestly, a team of opportunists, which I talked about in that article as well that you can check out in the description below in this game early on. They were able to get a couple goals, obviously, on um, unfortunate plays that Ustamenko when he's on his game we know we saw it two years ago he was baller he killed it after having five off games with the Phantoms came down and lit the world on fire with the Reading Royals and I expect him to do that again this is a long season and that's how hockey works you have off games but that's also why you have a veteran netminder who got shellacked obviously the night before on a bunch of shots wasn't his fault the defense was not concise Kirk McDonald himself admitted that they did not play well on Friday night, and then Pat Nagel comes in, they got in on the bus at 4 freaking 15 in the morning, and he comes in and has to come into this game, after being able to at least keep the Reading Royals in the game the night before nicely, when they were not really helping him out defensively, and then he settled down the fort, he calmed the shores, and really did exactly what you want a guy to do, that is a veteran backup, he made 18 of 19 saves, he did well. He made some really good saves with his glove there, especially towards the end of the game. And uh, he really played a good overall performance for him. And that's why I would give him the third star of the game, of course, because of how well he did. And then you have to give Wing Chris and Strom tied for second. And then you, of course, have to give the hat trick man, Patrick Bykoff, the first star. But somebody else that I also have to point out, that has been playing well and impressing me is Braden Lowe because he, he seems pretty good in terms of playing very good at the 200-foot game. He's poke-checked the puck away from a couple people when they were entering the zone last night. He plays good um, when it comes to playing in the corners and on the boards I've seen. And he also just is good at generating chances. So even though for him that hasn't drawn to points yet, He's noticeable on the ice, and that's something I do like to point out when guys are playing really well, even if they're not getting on the score sheet. And he's definitely one of those guys that fits into that description. And then Patrick Bykoff is, of course, killing it on the score sheet. And in general, as he had a plus four rating and three goals, and then you had Strom with the three assists and a plus five rating with six shots on goals. Matthew Strom has been absolutely electric. Joshua Winchris had five shots on goal with, um, of course, his two assists as well and one goal for a plus four rating himself. So that line has been absolutely killing it. That has been the killer line, and I expect that to really continue. And I expect Bykov to continue to get better because Kirk McDonald talked about how he hasn't really been that net front presence yet. 
yet, and he's asked him to do that, and he's done it really well, of course, getting a rebound goal and a deflection goal last night, and now we look for that success to continue for the rest of the season with that great line with him, Matthew Strom, and Joshua Winquist. So this has been a reaction of the Reading Royals' great 6-4 to four win, welcoming back the home crowd to Satande Arena. Great job by the Matthew Strom, Joshua Winquist, and Patrick Bykoff line, and great job by Patrick Nagel to do exactly what you need from a backup veteran netminder to come in and just calm the shores and play a great game as the Royals pushed the ante on offense and got more aggressive I saw it seemed as the game went on because you, you saw the, the netminder calm the shores which allowed that to happen so subscribe down below if you enjoyed the content everybody up above on the easy to use widget peace out this has been a Reading Royals 6-4 to four win recap this is Sports Fanatic News I'm Joe Boric this has been the latest edition of the Royal Take